Hey, what's up guys? Steve here. This just came in the mail. Let's check it out. It's that mobile charger. You've seen the ad on Facebook. It's driving you bananas because you keep seeing it every other minute. Well, I ordered one. I'm going to go do a quick review on it. Please stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, so before we even get started with the actual review of the product here, while I'm unboxing it here, I'll let you know that I ordered this. It took over a month to get in, and I had a hard time dealing with these guys, but eventually I did get the product here. So here's the charging cable. It is a USB to micro USB cable, pretty standard. Um, so you can charge that while you're waiting for stuff or if you're on the run use the solar charger that's what it's all about right so here's the product taken out of the box uh very nicely made doesn't feel too heavy got the logo screened right here got solar panels right here to charge the unit the sides are very grippy rubbery uh looks like it's easy to handle Looks a bit bulky, so those that might think that it's really heavy and whatnot, I'll weigh it after this, okay? Um, you got one single button on the side, and that'll uh, light up the charging status or the battery status. It tells you how much by 25% increments, and they got a little green light on the left there, which is a solar. It tells you when you're charging it with solar. Uh, the charging input over here on the side, it's kind uh, this rubber tab here, it's a little difficult to open. Uh, make sure you close it up well. I believe this is rated IP5, so if you wanted to make sure you don't get any moisture in there, make sure you cover it good. The side on the top, I should say, you got the three charging USB charging ports. They're labeled USB 1, 2, and 3. And again, yeah, if you cover it well, it looks like it won't pop out by accident. Um, it's a matter of how you take care of it, you know. Again, there's that button that shows you the charging. It's at 75%. Um, you got a little loop for a carabiner or a lanyard. And this is the charging side. It's actually a flashlight as well. So you got the website info. You got the charging input there. It's uh, five volts at two amps while you're charging it with the wire. Wireless output shows here five volts at one amp. Output one, five volts at one amp. Output, output two, five volts at two amps and output three, five volts at two amps. Again, here's the USB charging ports on the top there. Um, what else? The button is a multi-function button. You click it twice, it turns the light on. Click it once, it changes the brightness levels. And then, uh, of course, there's three brightness levels and then you click it twice again, that shuts it off. So that's pretty much it as far as the unit itself. Okay, so let's check out some of the things that were in the box. Uh, aside from because the cable, we got some literature in here. It is the instructions. It tells you everything about the unit itself, where everything is, and what the button does, and everything else. The charging status, discharging status, etc. So check that out there's a little coupon there for a discount and that is it boxed up nicely uh, let's go check out the weight on this bad boy so I would think a couple of pounds would be outrageous but uh, I got my postal scale here check it out looks like and some change you can see it there okay so just in case uh, you don't know uh, we'll show you how to charge something wirelessly on the charging pad side because everybody knows how to plug their stuff in 
uh, put your unit on the top there of course the button I showed you you click that and it's charging the LED will blink from green to red and we'll just keep continue doing that continuously okay so I wanted to do some real-world testing I tested an iPhone 6 plus uh, with the cable charging cable but I changed the cable about an hour into the charging and it took about two and a half hours to charge um, I also charged the iPhone 8 plus uh, and iPhone 10 without the cover the iPhone 8 did have a cover on it it's a otter box style cover and it took about two and a half hours as well uh, wirelessly iPhone 10 no case uh, took about two and a half hours as well to charge from about 17% to 100% so it does charge um, I had to charge this thing overnight I didn't want to uh, I wanted to run it all the way full and then see how much charges I can get out of it because they boast eight full phone charges off of this thing um, and also the emergency solar charger here to charge this thing here Hey folks, so that concludes my review on the Lit Mobile wireless and solar charger. If you like what you saw, please click the like and share button below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care and aloha.